More than 20 million people were under a flood watch Saturday as storms responsible for at least eight deaths cut through the Midwest and Southeast. The storms brought damaging tornadoes to Alabama, Kentucky, and Mississippi. Hundreds of thousands of customers lost power as winds whipped and trees fell. This Louisiana homeowner is so lucky to be alive after severe weather knocked a massive tree down into his home, splitting it in two. I don't know. I'm, I'm fortunate, you know. God saved me. I, I, I mean, it, it hit my headboard. The tree did. <clears throat> the bed I was in. Tornadoes were reported in Kentucky, Arkansas, and Alabama, and five million people were still under tornado watches. In Alabama, storms killed three people in Pickens County. It has been a very devastating storm in that area. People have suffered a lot of loss, including life. Um, that's the most important thing, and that's what we're addressing at this time. In Chicago, strong winds with gusts over 50 miles an hour accompanied light snow and rain Saturday morning. More than 1,000 flights to and from Chicago O'Hare International Airport were canceled Saturday, and more than 300 others were delayed. Sleet, freezing rain, and snow are expected to continue. Winds were whipping up large waves in Lake Michigan in the Chicago area Saturday morning, with warnings of more possible lakeshore flooding in the area. And those high winds with gusts of up to 60 miles per hour are expected to continue through the night and into Sunday morning from western New York to Cleveland. And hundreds of thousands are still without power, and that number is expected to rise.